Hi, welcome to this short tutorial on how to take pages from a PDF, export them as images using the Digital Express add-on in PowerPoint. Then we're going to create Google Slides. Um, a lot of people have asked me this question on how to go from the PDF to Google Slides, and this is how I would do it. This uh, tutorial should be um, probably around seven minutes, but um, of course, without me talking, it will take you uh, a shorter amount of time. So let's get started. Okay, so we're in a PDF reader. I, I use Adobe Acrobat. Now this is a paid service. Um, I've been using it for years and this is the one I recommend. So this has a feature in the right. There's a, a menu bar. We're going to go to export PDF because what we want to do is we want to take the pages of the PDF and turn them into images. Go to image go to um, PNG, export. You could also use JPEGs, that's fine. Um, okay, so none of these folders um, are, are suitable for what we're gonna do, so we're gonna do choose a different folder. I like to save it on my desktop. You're going to right click anywhere and create a new folder. And we're gonna rename that folder. Uh, let's go with wonder workbook and click on that and hit open and that's where we want to save all of our images so you'll see down at the bottom here there um, there's 41 pages and they're being exported right now into the folder okay and when it's finished it stops so you don't see it anymore on the screen so let's go ahead and minimize Adobe Acrobat let's go to um, file we're going to go to a new file here in uh, PowerPoint. First we want to do is uh, go to our design feature in our menu, slide size, custom size. We want to make it eight and a half by 11. Hit OK. I typically like to remove these boxes on the slide. Okay, so now we're going to go to our insert uh, tab menu all the way here to the right we're going to click on digital express go back to our desktop and find the folder we just created which is wonder workbook and then click ok and there they are perfectly embedded in the background of each slide and um, just to check a few slides to make sure they're done correctly and then i always like to go to my slide sorter to view all my slides and there they are Okay, so now we're going to go to File, Save As. Let's go to Wonder Workbook Google. Something simple, easy for you to remember. Hit Save. Click Save. All right, minimize this. Now we're going to go to Google. So now we're in a blank Google Slides uh, file. I already named it Wonder Workbook. We have to first set up our slides um, size. So we have eight and a half by 11. Um, typically you would have to click on custom and then type in eight and, a, eight and a half by 11. So that's the size of our slides. So now we're going to import our slides from PowerPoint and you want to bring over the file that you just created. And that should be right here on my desktop. And do I see it? Okay. You're going to see me have to now find it. That's always happens, right? Especially with people that have a ton of files on their desktop. Sorry about that. And okay, so that took like 90 seconds. Not too bad. So, um, you know, we had, we had quite a few slides here. 41 slides. Okay, so we're going to go to um, now once all the slides are imported, select all import slides. And there they are. They were imported perfectly in the correct order, um, embedded in the background. And just to check, click on a few, and there you have it. So we went from exporting uh, a PDF as images and uh, getting them locked in the background of slides on Google, and that's a great thing. So this did not take long. Um, okay, well, I'm around five minutes, so that's not that bad. Um, like I said, once you start working on your own and doing it yourself, it goes by a lot faster, and you won't have to listen to me. <laughs> listen to me talk you through it. Um, so I hope this was helpful and thank you for tuning in and let me know, uh, I'll start adding more videos like this to show you how to export, import, uh, repurpose different uh, things that you've created just to get them over to digital and all your um, uh, teachers that 
uh, buy from you and teachers that use them in their classroom and you yourself, you'll find uh, this these tools, uh, great shortcuts to save time. Okay, have a nice night. Thank you for watching.